Welcome to Corium Concepts. Thanks for coming by the channel today. Hopefully I can provide you some value and hopefully you'll leave me a like and a comment. And if you haven't uh, done so already, please hit that subscribe button. Really appreciate everybody's support. Sorry I haven't been around the last few days. It's been a very bullish time around the ranch here. We had a unexpected baby bull born and uh, yeah, I've just been tending to that and some family issues that have come up the last few days. So let's get right back into it here. Corium's currently trading at 27 cents, sitting up 1.4% on the day, down 6% on the week. This is looking at Corium on the weekly chart. Sologenics sitting at 15.1 cents, down, so, uh, moving both sideways on the week, down 16% on the month. XRP up 2% today, 4% in the last week, and a whopping 40% in the last month. And currently sitting at 52.4 cents. And Bitcoin up 1.35%, up nearly 10% on the week, 24.5% in the last month. Currently coming in at $30,830. Total crypto market cap sitting at $1.24 five or 2.49 trillion gold coming in in 2040 silver still strong at 25.89 and the dxy's pulled back a bit at 100.885 the mmri has been fairly stable last couple weeks currently sitting at 216 still technically in that high risk zone but the fact that it's uh been fairly stable is uh making that a little little easier on us. Checking in on the Corium network, 1.335 million blocks, average block time 1.85 seconds, 32 of 38 active validators, market cap of 129 million, inflation's 10%, APR 33.73%. Validators, here listed at the lowest fees uh, and up. Currently the top spot for low fees, 007 Corium Validator coming in at 0 0.5. BitTrue coming in second at 1%. Synchrotron 2.5%. Corium.services 4%. New one on the list here, we're gonna talk about a bit more later, Solo Nation coming in at 4%, Core Heroes at 4.5%, and then you have a whole bunch at that 5% mark. So yeah, the Solo Nation here has just popped up recently. I'm gonna check into them a little bit more, see what I can learn about them. But, uh, yeah, State Corium with Solo Nation, community-based validator node. So yeah, it's good, uh, good to see. And uh, I'm gonna reach out to them, see if they wanna come talk about the project on the channel here. And uh, listing the validators and the uh, voting power rankings, you have number one spot Cosmo Station at 18.3 million, Zen Lounge 17.2 million, BitTrue 16.6, and then uh, Informal Systems at 9.5. So we're getting a fairly decent decentralization here. It'd be nice to see it spread out a little bit more evenly. But uh, also nice to see new validators coming online. So let's uh, help Solonation out. It's currently sitting at 90,611. Corium locked on their validator. Give them a little help uh, where we can. Bob Ross has tweeted, Road to the top. Corium's growth cycle highlights the nine-month plan, focusing on expanding partnerships and network reach. The goal is to attract more developers and enterprises to build on Corium official infrastructure. More apps equals more active users equals global adoption. So nine months, it tells me they we expect to see this uh, cycle come together into Q1 of 2024, I guess, at worst. And wasting no time, Coindesk tweeted out here that the Web 3-a-thon is just around the corner. corner. Uh, you can join speakers from Alchemy, Corium, XDC, OKC, Polkadot, Solana, 
and others so exciting to see that they're going to be a uh, part of that and then continuing on after that uh, camel lovers shared here that corian prepares to take over austin texas for consensus 2023 so the Corium sponsors the Consensus 2023 Hackathon. Also, first Corium Hackathon. This call for developers to build the future of Web3 with the right tools. Coindesk Consensus is one of the world's largest and most reputable blockchain conferences in the world. Corium team will be taking over Austin from April 26th to 28th as a sponsor for this year's Web3 Hackathon alongside Solana, XDC, Polkadot, and OKX. Hackathon will be hosted online so anyone can join. However, multiple workshops and showcases will take place in Austin during consensus. So moving on, uh, Ripple's uh, done some sharing here today. Here they're talking about Liquidity Hub, our business-to-business crypto liquidity API solution. Going into that, uh, it talks about freeing up trap capital, etc. But I want to highlight this at its core. It allows for seamless bridging between traditional fiat and crypto assets. Paired with Ripple's broader suite of products, Liquidity Hub enables businesses to optimize crypto liquidity and tap an extensive network of global payout rails to streamline crypto transactions, treasury management, and other applications. Its streamlined API and simple intuitive design make it easy for customers to deploy and manage, and its ability to execute real-time trades around the clock with a minimum number of requotes or slippage all while meeting high bar for security and regulatory standards provides peace of mind for any business. Ripple Liquidity Hub is a purpose-built platform for enterprises that confers a critical business advantage in a crypto-first future. So it's exciting to see that uh, Ripple's definitely facilitating uh, the institutional adoption. And uh, here they say Ripple seamlessly seamlessly bridge traditional fiat systems with the new world of crypto find out how your business can unlock immediate real world value through crypto and blockchain with ripple liquidity hub crypto is here it's no longer an idea or on the horizon it's already the reality of how businesses and people trade move and manage value But despite a growing desire by businesses to engage in crypto, integrating digital asset solutions is complex. It often requires cumbersome integrations, has high costs, and involves engaging with fragmented, slow, and costly fiat payout landscape. At Ripple, we built Liquidity Hub to seamlessly bridge the new world of digital assets with the traditional world of fiat. The experience is plug and play, encompassing a single API connection into a breadth of liquidity pools. It offers optimized pricing via smart order routing and through Ripple's suite of products, best in class last mile fiat payouts into global jurisdictions will be available. Liquidity Hub powers interoperability between crypto and fiat systems, bridging digital assets seamlessly Partner with Ripple for your crypto liquidity needs today. So all that, just as uh, Twitter announced that they're going to let users trade stocks and cryptocurrencies starting today in partnership with eToro. So that's going to open up a massive market. London Stock Exchange to clear crypto trades. For those of us that have been around the XRP community for a while, we all know it starts in London, right? And Chris King with Sologenic tweeted out the core and solo newsletters are going to receive most announcements and updates first. So if you want to be in the know early, that's the place to look. And I got you guys covered. Subscribe to both of those for sure. And uh, always try and keep you up to date. And Fabio added to that, we also have a community section. Any project building on Corium or utilizing Sologenic Dex NFT marketplace can be featured on each week's project spotlight. Simply use the official hashtags. And same goes with my channel. Uh, Anybody in the community that wants to uh, reach out to me and come on for an interview or have me look into their project and discuss it with the community just just let me know send me a dm or uh email 
and uh, happy to look at it. I'm here to encourage growth of the community and the project and uh, any way I can help, I'm more than willing to. So anyways, that's it for today. Uh, I'm going to be looking at doing a live stream uh, tomorrow night, probably be on the later side. Uh, still haven't got out my uh, Cornova wrap up yet. So hopefully that's coming this weekend. Uh, yeah, it's just been really hectic around here and uh, we'll, we'll get there. If you found some value here, please hit that like button and leave a comment. And for, if you're new here, please hit that subscribe. Peace and prosperity to all. How do you go from this tranquility to that violence? I usually take the Ferrari.